Hey, and thanks for watching this concrete retaining wall video. Uh, this is a retaining wall that we had completed for a local school system. They wanted to build a baseball field here. As you can see, we used quite a bit of rebar in the footing. The footing was about 36 inches deep. Uh, we had to, we're going to have an eight foot wall, so we had to cut back our um, footing about six feet actually had some uh, problems a little later on with the rain and uh, collapsed in some of our uh, the back slope and had to dig it out a couple times but here you see uh, Toby showing you about 36 inches up we're pumping in some of the concrete here there was a big boulder right there on the right side uh, you can see it there it drops off to about 36 inches after that about eight inch cover over the top of that stone you can see our rebar that we've got put in uh, we used about, I don't know, 10 bundles, over a thousand sticks of rebar. Here's um, us putting our vertical pieces in. This is a gate system, uh, form system, a uh, gates and sun. It's the first time we've used this system. Was a little bit nervous, wasn't sure how to work it, but after using it, after using it we really do like it. Uh, you can see some of our drains that we put in every 20 foot there. Uh, we had some buttresses we had to build. You can see pictures here. They were actually 36 inches wide. This wall was 265 foot by 18 inches, and then where the buttresses are, it was uh, 36 inches wide. You can see we took some all thread and ran through to try to hold those buttresses in, keep them straight. Um, most of this work was done of an evening. You can see how this uh, wall system works where the snap ties go through and you just run the rod through. It was a little bit unusual for us having to straighten our wall after we poured the, um, typically we always straighten everything and get everything nice and rigid before we ever pour. You can see we were adding some uh, rebar to stick out so they could build some mats to help hold this wall. You can see what it looks like after here when we started removing our forms. Again, more pictures of our rebar. Here's after we pour. We actually poured this wall in two pours. This is the second pour you're seeing here now. You can see how the uh, the water was pretty substantial behind the wall. A little bit of honeycomb on our wall. Not terrible. Like I said, this is the first time we used these forms and I was a little unsure so we didn't vibrate it. We just um, uh, beat it with a hammer. You can see a little honeycomb here on this buttress. We came back and put some uh, Portland cement to fill in all that. This wall is going to be covered in a rock veneer to kind of match the um, wall that you see adjacent to this wall. This is the back side of the wall. Um, again, you can see that uh, the rebar sticking back into the wall there. That's going to be for those mats to help hold the wall just in case. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button down below. We'll have some more videos to come on some jobs that we've got going. So thanks again.